In this video, I'm going to show you the locations of all the forms you can find of the unknown Pokemon over here. You can see there are 28 of them. So let's start out with the three in Jubilife Village. There's one by the welcome sign here at the village location right over here, as you can see. Now all of these are pretty much guaranteed captures, so it doesn't really matter which Pokemon ball you actually throw at them. The next unknown Pokemon location is on the Magikarp right above the building over here, the Galaxy Hall. It's better if you run over to the Lady by the Well next to the training grounds and use a Jet Ball or something that's really fast to angle at the Magikarp's eye there until you can hit the unknown Pokemon and catch it, like this. The last one in Jubilee Village is literally behind the house that you live at, so right over here. Moving on to the Obsidian Fieldlands, the first one is located right over here by the Grueling Grove in the top right corner of the map on the small little island over here. You'll find it in the tree. The next one is located above the Waterfall on the rock right over here, located by the Obsidian Falls on the middle right side of the map where I am right now. You'll find it on the rock midway up. The next one can be found at Lake Verity behind the cave entrance right over here between these two flowers. So this location on the map over here in the middle on the left. And it will be where this uh, Vampirion is basically. The fourth one in the Obsidian Fieldlands is here by the Beaver Dams by the Alpha Bibarial. It's located right over here by the Tidewater Dam on the map at this location. So you'll find it on the sticks right over here. The next one is located in the tree where you fight Cleavor at the bottom right of the map at the Grand Tree Arena at this location specifically over here. So climb the tree and then just go into this branch and catch it. Now in the Crimson Mirelands, the first one is going to be located at a campsite on a log located right above the spawn location when you enter the map over here, as you can see. So all you have to do, throw a Pokemon Ball and you got it, easy. The next one is a little tough to find, it's stacked on these rocks over here right at the top at the Shrouded Runes at the red marker of where I am right now at the edge of the cliff. You'll find the unknown form at the top of the stones stacked over here. The next one is located in a tree stump on this side of the map here, where it kind of looks like there's a crater. This is just below Sludge Mound at this location right over here on the map. So you'll see it in this like kind of tree stump right over there. The next one I've already caught, but it is hanging from this little branch over here. This branch is located in the Scarlet Bog. To find it, you should be on this location on the map over here. It's this tree at that little spot over there. And you just got to throw your Pokemon Ball here from this angle and you'll catch it. The last unknown Pokemon form in Crimson Mirelands is on a tent here in the Diamond Settlement, located over here where I am on the map right now. So it's on this tent specifically, right at the top over here, and just throw a Pokemon Ball and boom, you got it. Moving on to the Cobbled Coastlands, we're here at the Grave Site on top of the Giant Cliff. You'll see there is an unknown Pokemon located right over here. This is where we are on the map at this location over here, as you can tell. So the Pokemon you're looking for, you'll see, is on the edge of like the kind of like slope downwards over there. The next one is located on this ship's mast over here, and you can find this location in the Deadwood Haunt. It is basically at the bottom version of the Cobbled Coastlands map over here, and you'll find it there just about this high up there, and there it is. The next one is by the two giant spikes that you will see out in the ocean. It's located right over here towards the middle right lower kind of side of the map here above the weird hand shape. You'll see it's on the, the kind of like spiky thing there in the wall. The next one is located at Fire Spit Island right where the Alpha Ninetail spawns. So it's basically at this side of the island over here and you'll actually find the unknown Pokemon on the kind of like mountain thing or the volcano on this side over here, you'll see it's quite high up. You might need a Pokemon Ball, like a Feather Ball or something that can go quite far to catch it. The final one in the Cobalt Coastlands is located by this tree over here. This is located at the Spring Path at the top left of the map in that kind of like cave entrance area over here. So there's this tree next to the cave entrance. You'll see the unknown Pokemon is hanging on there. Moving over to the Coronet Highlands, the first unknown you're going to find is above this pillar over here. So the one that's located in this area over here, you can see it's roughly in the middle of the map, so you might have to kind of just do some, some looking like this to kind of investigate where you are in the map according to this. And it's on this pillar that I'm landing on right now. You'll find it over here. I've already actually caught this in my early game, so I couldn't get that recorded. The next one is located here by the Alpha Gudra. It's kind of a difficult position to be because it's on the edge of the mountain over here. So the location here is by the Ancient Quarry. You'll actually find the unknown right where this yellow kind of square is. And it's located above on those little rocks in the sky. You can see over here, I'm aiming at this one over here. This is where you'll find it. You'll need a Jet Ball or a Feather Ball or something to reach it. The third one in Coronet is located here in this cave over here. This is by the Sonoris Path. You can see where I am on the location right now. This kind of goes into the 
the mountain under the ancient quarry, and it's basically the quarry itself. So when you go in here, um, you're going to be seeing it on the left side, high up on the on the wall, basically towards the end here. You can see it over there. It's just like a small little like thing there. It's easy to miss. So get something that you can throw very high, very fast. You need feather balls again to reach it. The fourth one might be tricky to get because this one is in Wayward Cave. Now there's two cave entrances. The first one you're actually going to go to is this one over here. It's the only one that you're going to access. It's going to be this cave right over here. So I'm going to give you directions from here on how to get to where you need to go. So first we're going to head on in the cave and then we're going to make every single left turn. Just go left. Every single time you go left, you might come across a rock that you need to break. You'll need to use a ground type Pokemon that uses ground moves to kind of throw it at the rock to break the rock. And behind the rock, you'll be able to go in and see see there is an unknown Pokemon on the wall at the back over here and you can just throw a Pokemon ball and go ahead and catch that baby. The final unknown Pokemon in Coronate is located here in a flower kind of garden. Very, very hard to, to see if you're not looking for it. So it's in the Fabled Spring, bottom left of the map. Right now where I am on the map, like this location, you can see when you get in here, it's easier to see it when you're looking away from the river towards this way and it's over there in the, in the flowers, just hidden. Now we make our way over to the Alabaster Icelands for the final five unknown formed Pokemon. So you'll go into this hole in the ground over here. This hole is located in the avalanche slopes at the bottom left of the map over here, right by where this Pokemon's icon is over here. So you're going to go in this hole and you're going to follow this path over here. So it's quite simple. There are three pillars in here, right? So the first one you'll see like this is in front of us here. We're not going to this one. We're going to the final pillar in the cave. So it's not going to be the second one either. It's going to be the one there behind the Alpha Frostlass over here and you'll see the unknown Pokemon is right at the top over here and you can just throw a Pokemon ball there and go ahead and catch it. The next one is quite easy to miss, but it's also quite easy to find. It's located right over here by the Avalug Legacy in the middle of the map. So you can see which location I am over here. It's at this spot over here. So when you get here, it's going to be closest to the big giant ice thing in the middle. So I'm going to go on the edge here and I'm going to fly onto this one over here. And you're going to see it's basically on this little ice pillar here. And then you just throw a Pokeball and you got it. The next unknown Pokemon is behind that statue over there between the two waterfalls right at the top. So we're going to quickly go ahead there. So this location is here by the Heart's Crag in the middle of the map towards the right side over here at this location over there where my yellow flag thing is. So when you get up here, you're going to have to use a ball to quickly catch it. It will be roughly where I'm aiming over here. The next unknown Pokemon location can be found by this frozen waterfall over here. This is located at the Icebound Falls at the left lower side of the map over here. So you're going to go to this spot here. You're going to see the frozen waterfall and you'll see the unknown Pokemon about halfway up like this. And you just go ahead and catch it. The final unknown Pokemon form that you'll find in Alabaster is located in a tree. It's located over here by the uh, Snowfall Hot Spring. So that's on this location of the map, just above the Ice Peak Arena on the left side of the map here. And when you get here, you're basically going to land and you'll see it's one of these trees towards the further back here behind the berry tree. And you're going to aim about that high and you'll see it there on the branch and we're able to catch it. And those are all the unknown form Pokemons that you can find, all 28 of them. I hope this video helped you and thank you so much for watching.